Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to my channel and for coming back. Um, I'm Michelle and I have been documenting my uh, VSG gastric sleeve surgery since about a month before I had the surgery. This week makes five weeks that I will be out from my surgery and it has been an interesting experience. Be sure and subscribe and turn your notifications on go back and take a look at some of my videos because I did um, document uh, my hospital bag, what I really needed, what I didn't so much need after I packed everything. Um, I've documented a episode of dumping syndrome where I got very, very sick from being over full. Um, so I've been keeping up with what's been going on with me and uh, what's been going on post-surgery. I'm also on Instagram um, under gastric sleeved superwoman. If you guys want to follow me on IG, I'll try to put my uh, Instagram address in here so that you guys will have it. Um, but I am documenting everything here on YouTube and it's really kept me accountable. So. I hit the three week stall and also the four week stall where I didn't lose a pound. And quite honestly, um, at from earlier in the week, I've gained a pound through today. Um, but I can tell you it's probably because I had pho last night um, or pho as some people pronounce it or pho as some people pronounce it, but it's actually pronounced pho and I got that from a Vietnamese friend of mine. Um, so I had that and had soy sauce, uh, even though it was low sodium soy sauce, I tend to retain fluid with salt and I try to avoid that. So last night, um, I had that or yesterday afternoon I had that and I kind of feel that I'm retaining a little bit of fluid. I can see it, um, underneath my eyes and a little bit in my face. But other than that, yesterday was a fantastic day. You can see the photos of this on Instagram. Um, yesterday was a great walk that I do every year um, with my son's girlfriend and her family uh, for out of the darkness suicide prevention. And we had a great day yesterday. And I can tell you for the past several years that the walk has been in place, I haven't been able to make it all the way around. Um, it is, uh, well, let me just put it this way. It was 7,300 steps yesterday. I, I was at 7,300 by a little bit after 10 a.m. yesterday morning, and I was at 10,000 before three o'clock yesterday afternoon. And yesterday was my most steps that I have ever taken probably in my life. Um, I wear my Fitbit all the time. It keeps up with my sleep. It keeps up with my uh, blood pressure, keeps up with my, or not my blood pressure, but my heart rate. Um, and it keeps up with my steps. So um, I had a really great day yesterday. I made it all the way completely around the entire golf course, walking at a teenager's pace with my daughter who is 16. And then um, my son's girlfriend's cousin, Abby, who's 20. Uh, I kept up with those girls. I didn't have to stop, didn't have to rest. My energy is off the chart. So that's why I've really not been focusing on the scale so much. It is discouraging to see how, or to feel like I've lost so little. You know, I see people that were six weeks out that have lost, you know, 60 pounds. But what I can say is I wasn't as heavy as a lot of the people that lose that kind of weight in the you know 300 350 pound range um i was 266 when i went in for my checkup and i was 253 when i had my surgery so i think it's going to come off a little more slowly and um you know i kind of moved out of puree to soft foods and things that i can really tolerate i can tolerate meat um so I've eaten a lot of protein. The other thing is with protein, just don't get uh, discouraged. Um, protein builds muscle. And my best friend reminded me of that um, and burns fat. And our diets are made up, you know, 90% of protein. So I feel like I'm gaining some muscle, especially after yesterday. I am already in my pajamas and it is seven o'clock. And I'll be honest, I've been in them for probably about two hours. 
But what I can tell you is that muscle, it weighs more than fat and um, the inches that I've lost are incredible. I've shared a little bit about non-scale victories for my favorite pair of pajamas. I stood up out of bed and they fell straight down around my ankles. Um, so now I roll them up because I'm not giving up those pajamas. They're old, they're soft, they're perfect. Um, and then the other day, another non-scale victory that I had was the ability to wrap a regular bath towel around me and not have it gaping open on the side or in the front. So the inches that I've lost, I can't, I, I didn't measure myself before the surgery. I couldn't tell you how much I've lost after, but I can tell you that I'm wearing regular extra large instead of XXL and 1X, 2X shirts. And my size uh, 18 jeans and my size 16s are fitting. Uh, they're a little snug, but they're fitting. My size 18s are too baggy. And then I was all the way up to a size 22 this past March when I had a flare uh, with my multiple sclerosis and I was full of steroids and I had gained so much weight. I gained um, almost 30 pounds of um, weight during the course of that flare because it went on for about six weeks. So that was the heaviest that I've ever been. I didn't even weigh myself during that time, but I can tell you I had to buy new jeans because nothing fit me. So even the way my pajamas are fitting right now, this shirt is just absolutely bagging off of me. And these are like regular pajamas with flannel pants. Um, I'm having to use my drawstrings in my pants and that's a new thing for me. I haven't ever had to use a drawstring. If anything else, I've had to cut them out of elastic waist pants so that they'll fit and not be too snug. So these are non-scale victories that we all need to celebrate and not depend so heavily on the scale. I think that the weight and having yo-yo dieted most of our lives for me, I've told you guys in my introductory video and in several videos since that I yo-yoed through my whole life. I could lose 30, 35 pounds and then I would gain it back and then some. So I'm used to the scale being the measure of my success with this. And I have to stop thinking that way and having that mindset that only the scale is right because I'm telling you my body has completely changed. Um, my son's girlfriend hadn't seen me in a couple, uh, at least a month or six weeks. And she commented right away on how slim my face looks and how much weight I had lost. And then when I saw the photos from the walk that she was taking, the candidates of us walking, you know, my shorts are were bagging and my shirt that used to be snug on me was way too big and tucked in. So celebrate those non-scale victories um, and don't depend on the scale so heavily because it can be very discouraging. And I know that I kind of have the opposite problem that I don't eat when I get stressed. I have to kind of force myself to eat, but you don't want the scale to send you into a binge or send you, you know, over the edge to where you feel like you have to overeat and then you'll experience dumping syndrome. And please go back and watch my video about dumping syndrome and you will see how awful that truly was for me. Oh gosh, sorry, I jumped. It's, we're having storms in North Texas. I'm hoping it cools us off even more because it was in the 90s again this week. There's no fall here, and I swear I don't wear sweaters or anything until after Thanksgiving, um, which some of you would probably be grateful for that, but we're so sick of the heat by the time October and November rolls around that we're ready for even snow if it came. But that, you know, I had a great day yesterday to be able to walk that much and not be out of breath, not be profusely sweating um, and having the energy to finish it rather than having to take a golf cart ride back is an incredible victory for me. My best friend was so proud of me. My son was so proud of me when I sent those steps to them yesterday morning, being at 7,300 and didn't even have to stop. So that was a huge accomplishment for me and hopefully when you guys have your surgery or post-surgery, you'll be able to have those accomplishments too. I feel so great. Um, this energy is incredible. It may have something to do with me getting my vitamin B and vitamin D under control too, but I feel really good. And um, I, I haven't had anything this whole week that's been really challenging for me. Um, this coming weekend is my out trip to LA. I'm super excited about that. I'll be posting photos on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow me there, please do. Again, it's Gastric Sleeve Superwoman on Instagram. You guys will see my photo, you can find it. 
Um, but I'm very excited about LA because the last time I was in Los Angeles was a girl's trip with my best friend. I was also in the midst of a flare at that time. It seems to happen around March and April every single year for me since I was diagnosed five years ago. But the last trip I was in a flare and I was exhausted and I was sweaty and hot and miserable. So I wasn't able to walk and do a lot of the things that I wanted to be able to do. I gave it my best effort, but I just wasn't feeling well. And I, you know, I even had to sit out half of a Psychedelic First concert because I was feeling so bad, which is not normal for me. So I'm hoping to be able to go. My daughter's always wanted to go to LA and to be able to do this with her and have this energy and stamina and the ability to walk and to be able to show her and do things that I wasn't able to do the last time that I was in Los Angeles is super exciting. Um, for those of you that don't what that would want to know why we're going to LA I've mentioned this in previous videos but the head coach of the Chargers um, my best friend and I grew up with in a very tiny town Salina Texas here in North Texas um, our class had 50 or so kids in it so it was very small and I stayed friends with him with Anthony and um, we've kept in contact with him over the years I've been one of the people that's always done our kind of party class reunions, so I've always kept in touch. And um, we had the the honor of being um, part of his launch of his foundation, and this was a package that we uh, won, um, donated to a great cause. Anthony also donated to my walk yesterday, um, so he's just a good friend and overall a good person. And we have sideline seats the Chargers Steelers game. I am a Steelers fan so this is going to be really difficult for me because obviously next Sunday I'm a Chargers fan. I'm not going to root for the Steelers that day um, at, and they're playing horrible, horribly this year so I'm not going to be really worried about it but we are Chargers fans in this household and we root for Anthony and you know until he's not coaching anymore the Steelers are just going to have to be on the back burner for me. I've had some people tell me you just don't change teams. Well 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to have a friend that ends up as a head coach of a uh, NFL football team so I'm changing my allegiance based on this uh, on this odd um, a situation that we find ourselves in and watching Anthony. I went to high school and college with Anthony and watching him become successful has been just an honor for us to be able to watch him because it could have happened to a better guy. So this week has been really good for me. I haven't had any dumping syndrome. I haven't had any issues with food. Um, that I mean, that's really all I can think of. I'm I'm really struggling to get all four vitamins in a day. That is one thing that I'm struggling with. The calcium chews that I have that I showed in my last video, they're delicious and I have no issues with that. And my chewable vitamins aren't terrible, but I was never a vitamin person before this surgery. And it's just another one of those things that we have to change and learn to do. I haven't lost any hair. Um, the only thing that I'm noticing, I'm losing volume in my face and I have some dryness under here. Um, so I'm trying to stay extra super hydrated throughout the day. Um, I have some wrinkles under my eyes that are showing up now that weren't there before, but that's okay because I had that fat in my face that um, kept my eyes from looking sunken in and you couldn't see those fine lines and wrinkles. So I've been working on that and um, getting continue to hydrate, but the slimmer my face looks, the more I'm gonna have issues with my skin. And I'm gonna tell you, there's there's Botox, there's um, Dysport, there's, um, there's fillers, and I don't wanna have to do a lot of that stuff to my face. I can tell you I have had Botox and I have had Dysport before. Um, that's why I don't have a lot of wrinkles up here, just coming clean and telling you guys, but um, that's a pretty simple procedure. It's less than $150 here for the two lines and my forehead and the Dysport here lift my eyebrows. She did that for me this time, so um, I'm not ashamed of that at all at 50 years old, that this is really the first year that I have had an experience with Botox in all of my 50 years. So I'm just gonna own it and live with it and just trust the process as we all need to do. Please subscribe, turn your notifications on. I try to keep this super real, super informative. Um, I am not, you know, fancy and makeup and do my hair every single time I do a video, um, which is odd for me because I normally do that for pictures and things like that. But this is my journey and my journey alone. 
I'll tell you, if you're having any issues, please reach out to your physician. Um, no issue is too small to share with him. I've shared previously that I had blood clot in my elbow and that was really important um, for me to get checked out at the emergency room and I did. That's not a ghost behind me, it's my cat, Bear, who is always trying to get into the frame. So if you guys saw my door move, I don't need to sage the place, it's not a ghost, it's my cat. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday tonight. Tomorrow is Monday. We're back to the grind. I'll do a new video in the next few days as I always do. And again, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Um, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I'll keep you up to date to how everything is going. Thanks a bunch, you guys.